Hey, hi there, it's Alan and Emily from Science in a Van, and we're coming to you live from a shed in South Auckland 275 with uh, the Science in a Van live. So, um, we've got a lot coming up for you today. Today is basically dedicated to all those amazing teachers out there, and um, basically, we're dedicating the show to you, but we're still going to have heaps of fun. Okay. There's going to be heaps of demos you can do at home in your classroom. And, of course, there will be Jogger for Day, 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 Day. Kia ora, it's Hey, if you don't know us already, you probably do. But, yes, we are Science and Rand. And, Helen, did you know, well, you should know, we've been travelling up and down Aotearoa, visiting primary and intermediate schools since... <gasps> 2011. Wow. I know we're celebrating 10 years this year, which is really exciting. Um, yeah, it's going to be really great. And we have a really cool job. Yeah. Uh, we blow giant bubbles as big as a two-year-old. Uh-huh. Um, we fly rubber chickens on water rockets and talk about horses. And we get to meet heaps of lovely people just like you up and down the country. So yay for us. Are we lucky? Yep. We aim to deliver science in a fun and engaging way. And um, and the next four Science in a Van Live mm -hmm. videos are going to be explaining our shows and what we um, cover. And there's going to be heaps of fun stuff in there. So we're going to give you an overview of all of our shows. We're going to show you some of the things we do in our show and we're going to give you extensions and activities that you can do in your classroom. Yay! And today, um, to be fair, we're going to be talking about one of our most popular shows, mm. The Wonderful World of... Bubbles! Everybody loves the bubble. Hey, this show's for juniors and it's super fun, very, very popular. Um, and in this video today, you'll learn more about our show if you haven't seen it already. Mm -hmm. But also you'll have the confidence to um, engage in a discussion with your classroom um, after you see the show. Also, we're going to run through some of the experiments we do in the show so you can re recreate them in your classroom, which is super, really fun to do. And what else? Oh! We've also got some extra content, so special stuff that we don't do on the show, but it's really great to do in your classroom. Cool. So the wonderful world of bubbles is all about these things. Oh, I love bubbles. And it's aimed for uh, years one to year four, and basically it's a material show. So the students watching will learn about um, materials. They will learn how to um, identify materials, how materials behave, and the main things that we talk about is mixtures, mm. how that materials can come together and make a mixture, but sometimes they will separate and sometimes they will have a reaction. And we will also cover the scientific process as well. So in this, this really covers <laughs> the material world and the nature of science as well. And like I say, once we've seen... Oh, once we've seen small bubbles, it's a small bubble. big bubbles, and oh. Oh. and huge bubbles, we talk about a bubble mixture. And a mixture is when you take two or more things <laughs> oh, and you put them together and you bit. make a mixture. So when you take two or more things, put them together, you make a mixture. Let's do that together, Emily. Rick, tap, grab two or more things, put them together, we make a mixture. A mixture. <laughs> um, so right at the beginning of the wonderful world of bubbles, we get straight into the experiments. This show is great, has heaps of live demos. We start really simple. <laughs> We're all about the simple. So we talk about mixtures. Things coming together to make a mixture. So our first mixture, we grab some water. Grab some water, Alan. Grab some dishwashing liquid. We're going to put them together and make a... Mixture. Oh, it's all coming back to me. All right, so um, so we talk about what could we use this mixture for oh. now. Have you got an idea? We use this mixture to wash our science in a van van. This is true. We do. We're quite bad. Um, we do use this mixture to wash the van. Mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't use this mixture to make a cake, Ella. <laughs> yeah. Um, and during the show, obviously, everybody's going to yell out, blow up. Bubble. 
So I need to have a look. Try again, Em. It's all right. Oh, oh. There was a bubble. Sometimes I work, sometimes I don't. But to be fair, this tells us all about how sun mixtures are good for some things and not for other things. Heaps of live demos. But also, like Alan said, we talk about the nature of scientists, uh, the nature of science, and we're thinking like scientists. Mm. So to get that across, there's a really simple way. Yeah. So here I've got some water. Uh -huh. Can you hold that water for me? Yep. Um, very good. You're a good helper today. Yeah. All right, I've got some blue food coming here. In a moment, I'm going to drop some into the Ooh. water. But we're thinking like scientists. We can't just do this without making a guess. That would be crazy. All right, we need to make a prediction. We need to make a guess. So have a think at home. Um, what's going to happen when we drop in the blue food coloring? Make your prediction. Now we're testing it out and we make some observations. We see what happens. Uh, super, super obvious. The water has turned ugh has turned blue, okay? Um, so how easy is that? We have been thinking like scientists, and that's what the nature of science is all about. So we've got some blue water, um, and then we move on to another experiment in the show. And for this, I need an old bottle. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about when, oh, thank you, Alan. We're going to talk about when we mix oil and water together. Very good. Yeah. All right, so we're going to chuck some... Oh, I'm going to get this everywhere, aren't I? Okay. going to put some cooking oil in the bottle. No mess yet. Can you hold that, please? Yeah. So that's just cooking oil in there, Em. Yep. And you could use any cooking oil or oil yeah. and stuff, yeah? Cool. It's nice, you'll see. <laughs> it's really nice. It's a nice yellow colour because we're going to think like scientists again mm -hmm. and we're going to pour in the blue water into the bottle. But we're not going to do this without making a prediction. A so, prediction. A prediction is like a guess. Yeah, eh? totally the yep. same thing. Okay. So I hope you've made your prediction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just checking. And then we get to test it out and see what happens. So we're putting it in there. Um, hmm. I'll just put this down. At this point in our show, the 250-odd <laughs> students watching go absolutely crazy at this moment in time. This, surprisingly, after seeing huge bubbles, this still creates a lot of excitement. I, you're so right. It's such a neat part of the show because it doesn't do what most people predict. As you can see, it hasn't turned green. Mm -hmm. You can see from my observations that the blue water wants to be down the bottom. And the yellow cooking oil Ooh, wants to be at the top. Now, at this point, we feel like Ed Sheeran, right? Because yeah. everybody is screaming what? Shake it. Shake it. So we, Shake it. Yeah. One more? Yeah. No. Shake okay. it. Okay, all right. Um, so we do shake it, and we want to see if that's going to help us make a mixture. So we have a shake break. Hey. Dancing around to Queen. It's very yeah. exciting. Shake Everybody gives them a bit of a boogie. That's great. So, hmm, it does look like we've made a mixture, but we're going to put this here, and eventually you've got to use your observations with your eyes. This is not going to stay the same. It's going to change. You can see it down the bottom, actually. Ooh. Because actually some things want to come together to make a mixture, but some things want to separate separate okay and this is a great experiment to do in your classroom to see that separation and we use oil and water to be fair the kids might go oh what if you use honey i don't know i can't think really yes. and what if you use coca-cola mm -hmm. <laughs> all right you can try different materials out and see what happens see if they mix or see if they separate but in the wonderful water bubbles we also talk about how things can come together and make a reaction Ooh, uh. I know. Um, and, of course, we do the classic experiment, uh, vinegar and baking soda. Uh, yeah. Again, crazy times in the audience. Very crazy times. I've been doing this experiment since kindergarten. It's still one of my favourites. I'm still learning about it. It's fantastic. So Alan set it up here. We've got some baking soda and we've got some vinegar. We talk about the properties, see-through, stinky, it's a liquid, white powder, Kind of nothing. All right. So we talk about properties of materials too. And then we're going to think like scientists again. 
what's going to happen when we mix these two materials together. Let's try it out and see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh no. Yeah, I'm baby. Oh, it, it made the mess then. Oh no, it's gone into the bubbles and it's foaming up. I made a fountain there. That was, I was beautiful. Quite impressed with myself. That was quite artistic. That was not planned. Thank you very much. I've given myself a pat on the back if I didn't stick my vinegar. Well done, everybody. Excellent. All right, so um, so we mix vinegar and baking soda together. We put them together. And they like had, you do. And they had a reaction, okay? And this is easy to see in this experiment because of all the fizzing and foaming. And I think that one, that was in the um, washing up. Yeah. yeah, that was quite fun. Unplanned, but still fun. So, classic experiment we do in the show, but thinking about it in a different way. Just had a thought. Kids always think of volcanoes. So, because we're not doing them in the sand pit or doing them in that scenario, their predictions are sometimes quite surprising because it's in a different context. So that's kind of cool. So we do the same mixture again, yep. all right? This time we've got the vinegar in the bottle uh -huh. and we've got the baking soda in the balloon. Ooh. I know, changing one variable, just the container. So everybody makes a prediction what might happen. Mm -hmm. You can do that yourselves. Yep. We'll test it out and see what happens. I predict it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right. All right, so. <gasps> Ooh. This is one of our favourites. Burgills. <laughs> All right, so um, this is really, really fun. So these materials have come together and they've had a reaction. It's exactly the same as last time. It's just the container has changed, okay? You can see all the fizzing and the foaming and the bubbles, and those bubbles are actually full of a gas, okay? And that gas is called carbon dioxide. And now this balloon... Is full of carbon dioxide gas. Ah. I know. It's a great experiment. There's so much to it. Um, Alan. Yep. You know a lot about gas, don't you? <laughs> there we go. That's right. So, my friends, Emily has beautifully um, illustrated and demonstrated to us how that some, when material, two or more materials come together, they make a mixture, but sometimes they don't mix, they separate, yeah. and sometimes they have. A reaction Whoa, and yeah, that's a cool. lot for us to take in so I'll tell you what Emily what? take a deep breath in <sighs> deep breath out <sighs> so not only are we now more anchored we've also moving on to the next part of the show I'm kind of now, now. Well, yes she, I said breathe out oh yeah, yeah. so when we breathe in, we breathe in the air we breathe. When we breathe out, we breathe out the air we breathe. So the air we breathe is inside this bubble. When we breathe the air in, we breathe it in for a material called oxygen. And when we breathe out, we add carbon dioxide. So... Oh, the air we breathe, the air we breathe is inside this bubble. The air we breathe is a mixture of materials, and we breathe the air in for a material <laughs> called oxygen, and when we breathe out, we add carbon dioxide. So, like I say, the air we breathe is a mixture of materials. Mm -hmm. They've all got different ways of uh, behaving and acting, but they're all the same state of matter gas. Yes, yep. So the air we breathe is a mixture of materials or a mixture of gases. Now, normally at this part of the show, yep. we go into if we can get it and it's available to us, we start playing with solid carbon dioxide, dry ice, That's and we fine. put it inside bubbles and see what happens and have a lot of fun with that. And we also put helium inside of our bubbles. We always do. <coughs> and we see what happens. However, in this video, we're going to give you some extra content to explore the same things in your classroom, but in a slightly different way. So what we normally do in our show and what we're going to do with you now is slightly different. What I'm going to talk you through now is something that won't work in our show format, 
but it's a very sort of personal mm. and hands-on hands -on yeah. experience. So this is great for small group activities or individual exploration. And it can even be a teacher-led activity, but with very small groups. Depends on your so, class. Depends on your class, depends on the age group. But, hey, teachers, you know your kids. you're the experts. So you know <laughs> this stuff. We just give you the information and you take it and you make it wonderful. So this so, is the extra content. So here we go, a little bit of extra content for you. You need to do the experiment that Emily done. This is from And um, you need to do the vinegar and baking soda, and that inflates the balloon. Do it in a slightly larger yeah. bottle than we did here because fair. you want to avoid getting um, the vinegar and the baking soda in the balloon. So the only thing you have in this balloon is the gas carbon dioxide. You now take a balloon and you blow it up so it's the same size. With your breath, you blow it up so it's the same That's size right. as the oh. Oh. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. there. You go. So told you you knew a lot about you gas. blow it up to the same size as the balloon with carbon dioxide. So these balloons here are the same. The only difference is what's inside them. Inside one is the carbon, carbon dioxide, dioxide gas that Emily made with her reaction, and in the other is the air we breathe. So, Emily, I'm going to hold these up like this. I'm going to right. go three, two, one. I'm okay. going to let them go at the same time. I want you to watch. I want you to make observations of what's going to happen. Okay. Is that clear? Pretty clear. There we go. So, here we go. So we're going to hold them up like this and we go three, two, one, and I let go. You observe what's going to happen. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, uh, that one that you're yep. holding in that hand yep. totally dropped faster. And that ah. was the one with the carbon dioxide so gas. That's right, yep. Emily. That's fantastic. Great observations and great explanations as well. So the one with the carbon dioxide fell faster. And the reason for this is carbon dioxide is heavier than the air around it. The carbon dioxide oh. is heavier than the air around it. Or as we should say, the carbon dioxide has a higher density than the air around it, so it falls faster. Okay. Um, and yep. your kids might actually figure out that for themselves. Like we've explained it to you, but honestly, they're brainy. Yep. Oh, <laughs> this this is this is definitely something that they need to go and explore and they learn so much in doing it. Now, the thing is, is once you've played with these two balloons and you've got the concept across that um, gases are materials and they have weight, and this one is heavier than air due to the uh, properties of carbon dioxide, you can then bring in other things like um, this here. Extra, this extra content. Extra, extra content. <laughs> so this is a balloon full of helium. <laughs> So we've spoken about gases that are heavier than air, so yep. they fall down. And here we have helium, which is lighter than air, so the balloon goes up. There's something about helium balloons that just make me happy. Yeah. yeah. So I'll tell you what, if <laughs> Emily <laughs> holds that one, I hold this one, and we get them to about like middle that. camera, and we go at the same height, on one, drop it. Okay, oh, ready? Cool. Three, two, one. Oh, I think I was a bit too late. <laughs> there we go. So, that was not a fair test. That was not a fair test. That was just us jazzing and having a little bit of fun. But that is true. You can play hot potato in your class hot and potato. just throw them around. Because yeah. um, we experience things and make observations with our eyes. But Alan's been saying over this way, actually, it's not always with our eyes, eh? No, no, no. It can be All with our, our taste, our smell, and our senses. But they're called so. observations, which... There we go. <laughs> so this... This um, experiment that I've just spoken through, like we say, is a great classroom activity. Mm -hmm. Please let us know if you do this in your classrooms and how you found it work and translate, um, how much you lead into it or you just let them get on with it. I think has got a lot of sort of avenues and pathways to go. But oh. here's the thing, and this is why I like this bit. The concept that the air we breathe, Emily, yeah. is a mixture of materials. The idea that all those materials have got different ways of behaving, That's like weird. we saw there, different weights, is really weird. However, we've had really young kids, yeah. like um, preschool children, 
with the balloons and start to explain the difference mm. between the material from the experiment and the material yeah. that we blew in with our breath. So it's a huge concept, but and a very confusing concept, but I don't know. When we do it like this, Depends something definitely clicks. Mm. Um, and I think that's exciting thing about educators, though. Yeah. Being educators, those aha moments um, from watching kids to go from this is nothing uh-huh. <laughs> to thinking gases have weight. It's, it's pretty awesome. This is a great show, the one for World of Bubbles, because it covers so much stuff. So um, we hope you've enjoyed this little video today. This is part of our Science and Man live session. We've yeah. done things a little bit differently dedicated to teachers uh-huh. and we've talked about our show called the wonderful world of bubbles so we hope and um, you've discovered what this show is about yeah. um, a little bit about some of the experiments we do in the show that you can do in your classrooms we've given you some extra content and we've hoped that you've learned that this show is all about um, the material world content of the curriculum how materials behave and what they are, some of the properties, and when materials come together, they make a mixture. Some materials mix, but some materials separate. And some things actually come together and have a reaction. And we also learn how to think like scientists. It's a jam-packed show. It is a jam-packed show. If you want to learn more about it or you want to book us to come into your schools and do it, go to www scienceinadvan.co.nz or you can email us at contact at scienceinadvan.co.nz so we look forward to hearing from you shortly um thank you for being with us it's been so fun we're loving doing science and man live in our garage um so next week this show is all about the material world for juniors we do have a senior show so next week, we're going to be talking about what's the matter. That's the name of the show. Nothing is the matter. And we're going to be doing some of the experiments from the show, giving you some extra content and having a good time. So that's when next time. Yep. Check out the website. We will see you then. But always, always on our Science and Advanced videos, we always have something at the end. Oh. What is it, Alan? It is. Joke of the day, 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 day. And it's with you, Joe Keller. So. A, um, a parent's child comes home from school and the parent asks their child, what did you learn at school today? What did you learn at school today? And yeah. Emily, their child turned around and said, not enough. I've got to go back tomorrow. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Um, and we'll hear from you soon. Ah. Oh, nice bubbles. Oh, that popped on my head. <laughs> Go on, one more. <laughs> wow.